have learnt about what is converging and what is diverging with respect to mirrors. Concave mirrors are converging means when light is passed through the concave mirror what will happen? After reflecting all the rays, the reflected rays will meet at one single point and that point is called the principal focus of the mirror and hence the mirror is said to be convergent mirror. Yaudu concave mirror. But convex mirror, when you make the light to fall on the convex mirror, what will happen? The light after falling on the mirror, it spread out, it diverges. But again, when you connect them with the help of dotted lines, they form the image at some point. Children, and the image form Okay, now please don't imagine such things. I know you all are expert in that. Convex lens ali image form When you connect the dotted lines, what happened? Again, those dotted lines meted or coincided at or converged at one point. No, that point again we called as the principal focus, and it was on the other part of the mirror. Hope you remember the what the ray diagram of that children. Hence, convex mirror alone image form agatha, but on the other part of the mirror. So, adu diverging mirror anta hindi But when it comes to lens, what andre? Convex lenses converging, concave lenses diverging. It is ulta. Confuse akbar do. Mirror converge ha, concave mirror ha, convex lens ha. Concave mirror converging ha, concave mirror lens converging ha. Anta you will get one question mark. Initially that happens children. All will face this problem. Don't worry. First we studied with respect to mirrors. Mirror only concave converging ha, convex diverging ha. But when it comes to lenses, convex is converging, concave is diverging. Now, how it converges, how it diverges, we will understand with the help of ray diagram. For that, first I will show you with respect to the convex lens. Convex lens, na, hang you in bari bari. Okay, na, I have not drawn it perfectly. But here it is fine. What you do is, when dotted line with the help of scale you draw children. Our reference is he gond arc, he gond arc. You should draw it neatly. That is the representation of convex lens. So, I already said you why it is, I mean, why the word spherical is used. Because these two lenses also forms the part of the sphere. So, children, there, nanu imi hangene mirror do head da hogla so that it will be easy for you to compare, I think. Now, center of the mirror only, it was called as pole. But here, it is represented by letter O called the optic center. It is represented by letter O called the optic center. Center of the lens is represented by letter O. Only letter P called the pole. But here children, center of the lens, of course in both the cases it is you want dotted line half put in me, O is the optic center of both the lenses. Now, only children, the aperture, what was the aperture? The surface area available for the process of reflection was called aperture. In Luno, we have the surface area which is available for the process of refraction only. That is again called the aperture and you can label it as uh, A, C, no, in our own English, we have one label Madi. Okay, na? so here I will mark A, B, C, C, A, D, C. Why are you marking two points, ma'am? Next question, I will tell you. Hold on. Okay, na? in Luno, aperture may be labeled children. You can label it. A, C, B, and the label money. Now, that is aperture optic center I to. First one optic center kal three. Next to aperture kal three. Third point in kal yana The line which is passing through the optic center. I am sorry this was not straight. The line which is passing through the optic center. Here also it is called the principal axis. It is called the principal axis.
axis. Then in case of mirror also children, the straight line passing through the pole of the mirror is principal axis. In case of lens, the line passing through the optic center of the lens is called the principal axis. Now, when you make the ray of light, say from infinity, light is coming from some infinite distance or source at some infinite distance, Annaga. Those rays of light are called incident light. Okay, na? so the ray is incident on the lens now. After touching the lens, it will refract and come in this direction. It is reflecting back in this direction. One more ray of light will fall and again, sorry, sorry. It should coincide children draw in such a way. Okay, na? with the help of, neatly with the help of pencil and scale. Please don't do freehand drawing like me. Like this. So, reflect I too. It is not like only above the principal axis you have rays of light. But below the principal axis also you can show the rays of light children. So, in Bharata, in Bharata. Like this, the rays of light which is incident on the lens will enter the lens and again refract and they finally converge or meet at one point. The reflect refracted rays will meet or converge at one point. Allunu adhana principal focus on the nekaritibbi. Illunu it is called the principal focus represented by letter F. But children, if you observe, uh, before that, uh, I will tell off. So, uh, now children, if you observe A, B, C. Now, two times label mother B and D. A, B, C is one spherical surface. A, D, C is second spherical surface, isn't it? It has two spherical surface. A, B, C, one to A, D, C. A, B, C, A, D, C. Two spherical surface it has means. It has two refracting surface. Mirror and the children, we had one of the sides silver or polished. But in case of lens, both the, none of the side is silvered or polished. Why? It is a transparent medium. Glass. So, Air in the light hogi, matte glass hogi, glass in the purpose air medium ke bantai the light to. Okay na? So children, surface area, I mean surface ABC, that is aperture ABC, as well as the surface area ADC, both the surfaces, the refraction process can take place here. The reflection process can take place here. So, if you mark the principal focus, even you process of reflection e side of the mirror under, in the principal focus converge other than. If you keep the source of light towards this side of the lens, it in the ray reflect reflect. Again they will converge here. So it will any lens you consider, it will have two principal focus. Principal focus singular are F O C I. Foci is plural. Okay now focus singular for F O C I foci or foci and theodara. That is plural children. So both the lenses have the principal focus on both the side of the lens as two surfaces are also available for the process of or for the light to pass through and it is a transparent medium you have to say and this part of the lens ali karbaro principal focus na we will write it as f1 next principal focus na 2f1 next principal focus na 3f1 and the mark mark the hope Yake one F1, F2, F3 and the question may arise in your mind. It is because children, it is not like always it will converge here. Now if I keep some other source of light, it may converge at this point. Wherever it is converging, that is called the principal focus of the mirror. Hangana, principal focus.
focus at different points we will consider you will study all this in detail in higher classes don't worry much okay so wherever the light will converge the first point or first principal focus is called the principal focus which is represented by letter f1 next na 2f1 next na 3f1 like that you go on labeling i have said this part of the surf, uh, surface of uh, lens is also available for the process of refraction so what will happen is optic center one the confuse agbardu optic center is one but principal focus here we have there so e principal focus e part of the lens and your principal focus will be labeled as f2 okay na if you want you can mention 1f1 also 1f1 2f1 3f1 4f1 but subscript is one only f1 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 never be we part of the lens and f2 bari ba to why children because this part of the mirror what we are labeling the principal focus will be labeled as subscript 2 f2 anta f2 2f2 3f2 like this it goes on 1f2 on the paper if you want you can label 1f2 or just f2 so 1f2 2f2 3f2 on the e part of the lens ali 1f1 2f1 3f1 on the e part of the lens ali mirror on allah like this it has different principal foci or foci hang beko pronounce mari so that is about the principal focus next to so children in case of convex convex lens ali the lens right the rays of light which are falling on the lens will converge or meet at one point hence it is called the converging lens please refer textbook for the the ray diagrams once again i said concave lens is a diverging lens here also two surface areas are available for the process of refraction to take place and how it refracts and let's say suppose this part of the uh lens ali we have placed the object usually children uh, don't worry much about placing the object towards this side of the lens we have confined in our lesson to keep the object here only higher studies material la physics if you choose there you will study what happens if you keep the object or source of light towards this right hand side and we usually have learn all the ray diagrams similarly in it kondana na but you should know this concept of f2 2f2 3f2 and that okay na so similarly this uh, con concave lens also has different principal focus f1 f2 f3 and the e kada enagutte f2 i mean f1 2f1 3f1 adre idu 1f2 2f2 3f2 anta agutte so now if you make the ray of light to fall on the concave mirror in this direction what will happen is the ray of light will diverge if you make the ray of light to be incident on the concave mirror after it falls on the lens it will diverge similarly below the principal axis also if you make the light incident in this direction it will diverge it will diverge children so so the b ala i will erase it for now it will confuse too many notations so now the ray of light will diverge after the process of refraction when it falls on the concave mirror as when it in convex mirror if here also if you trace the direction of those divergent rays with the help of dotted lines if i do children see how beautifully it is meeting at single point though i have drawn the figure roughly without the help of scale all these divergent rays if you trace its path it will converge or meet at one point again called the principal focus sorry 1 f2 or just f2 you write so this is the principal focus of the concave lens so in between i may say mirror mirror without my consciousness you know that is lens okay na so this is that is the reason we say concave lens is a diverging lens whereas convex lens is a converging lens again the center of the lenses are called the optic center the apertures these are surface and reflecting refracting surfaces are the apertures the line which is passing through the optic center is called the is called the principal axis 
after forming the convex it converging so after the light rays are refracting it will converge or meet at a point called the principal focus called as f1 even in case of concave convex concave lens the rays of light will diverge but once you trace with the dotted lines again they appear to meet they appear to meet and wherever they are meeting there the image of the object is set